What's happening guys? It's been a long time since I smoked some. Well, no. It's been a long time since I've actually recorded. I've been smoking. I've acquired so many smokers. Uh, but this was a new addition to my to my collection. It's a Yoder smoker. Uh, it's a stick burner. Today we're going to make some ribs. Let me uh, flip the camera over. Today we're going to make some ribs that I've had marinating in some uh, Kansas City seasoning. I don't know what it is. They look really good. They already have a nice color. They've been in the marinade for about three days. Now, here we have the smoker. We have some Kingsford charcoal in there getting ready to put it on the charcoal grate. And then we're going to be using some peach wood from Sharp Gourmet Cooking. Uh, gourmet cooking wood. Alright, they're nice and dense. It's peach. Yeah, so stick around. Tomorrow we're gonna make a, we're gonna make a butt on this thing. And it's gonna be fun. It's gonna be real fun. I want you guys to check this out. <clears throat> Let me open this up. That's nice and sturdy. So we have the heat deflector plate down there, as you can see, the holes, they gradually get bigger and bigger. Alright, now, I have a water pan here. Now, when I bought it, it already came with the water pan. I don't know if others come with the water pan, but this is cool. I got this real cheap from a guy that got a Yoder pellet grill, and he said bye-bye to his stick burner, so I gladly took it. Had and added the wood chunks. I'm gonna start off with that that much. That would be one log. Alright. Let's start off with that much. Let's go ahead and close it up. Uh let's get this baby down to temp now, up to temp. Now midway through the cook, I'm gonna have a Christmas party to go to. I'm not gonna be recording, so that'll be like the I'll be gone for two hours. I'll be I'll be back to wrap them, but Right now, I just started it, and it's 4 o'clock. They'll probably be ready, like, at 10, 9 or 10. I'm going to leave. My cousin's going to stay here, and uh, he's, he'll watch it. He'll regulate the temp, but there's going to be no recording. So I'll record right when I get home, though. All right, guys, the ribs are in the smoker. Like I said, I'm going to step out for a bit. Well, this side says it's at, let's see... Let me focus on that. Uh, see, uh, it says it's at about 215. No, probably 205. And right here, the Maverick says 236 on the right side. So it's not, it's a 30 degree difference, not too bad. I'm going to step away for about 45 minutes. When I get back, the ribs should be ready to be wrapped. So I'll get back on time and we'll film that. But for now, I'll see you guys later. You guys, just got back from Christmas party. The ribs were already uh, ready to be wrapped when I got here. Now, um, hold on, let me let me turn the camera over. All right, so this is taking a lot of wood. Like I said, my, the wood that I was using was very dry, so it's burning through it really fast. I've been using Weber charcoal uh, as well which has been holding up quite nicely but as you can see it's smoking a lot because I just threw some in there. I threw some wood actually. But the ribs are already wrapped. They're tightly wrapped. I put like everybody does. Uh, I didn't put parquet. I put real butter. Uh, brown sugar. They've been wrapped for about I don't know, like an hour and a half. And it's been, the temp has been at 193, between between 200 and like about 225. It's been holding temp pretty well, like I said, but it's, it's using a lot of charcoal. All right, we'll be back when they're ready to be unwrapped. And uh, yeah, stick around. Guys, check it out. They're ready to be sauced and then put in there another 
another hour. We're looking good. Bone pulled back perfectly. We're gonna sauce two of them and then we're gonna keep one just dry. All right, stick around. Hey, what up guys? So there's the finished product. This part was the closest to the firebox, so that's why it might look a little, a little darker, but right here, this looks perfect. Now, they're not fall off the bone, and that's what you want. You want them to have a little pull when you bite. Let's cut into one. <laughs> Let's cut right through it. All right, there it is. There it is. Go ahead. Do the honors. It's so tender. Let's get another one. There you go. Terrible. <laughs> Had the perfect amount of tug and it's fall off the bump. God. You're okay. <laughs> <laughs> you just ruined the video.